Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to World of Warcraft Wrath of the Lich King Classic and our Tauren Druid playthrough. Today we are headed down to Thousand Needles. We're level 31 and a half, and I feel like that's a really good time to go into Thousand Needles. We only need a few more levels before we can comfortably start things off in Stranglethorn. And I think between rested experience, maybe a couple of dungeon runs, we should be able to get into the low to mid level 30s here in Thousand Needle. So that is how we're going to kick things off today. Hope you guys are doing well. And I should say thank you for being here, for clicking on the video and choosing to spend some of your time here with me today. I really do appreciate it. Today is actually the 28th, which is uh, the day Dragonflight comes out as I'm recording this. Obviously not going to be till much later in the day. Well met. You have news from Magrin Earthbinder. This is great news. I've been sitting here guarding this hunk of wood for too long. Now I can spend some time with my family. Ancestors watch over you. He doesn't move. He never moves. Uh, you have a message to Freewind Post, which is actually gray. It's not gray, it's green. It's in that special level range where it doesn't appear above the NPC's head, but we can still get credit for it. Uh, what do we want to do? If we head through here, we could find... We could find the scout. We could also find a lot of centaur that we don't need to deal with right now. Let's take the road down to the post and we'll pick up all the quests there before we really get into any of these areas hoping that we'll find the scout while we're doing other stuff and not only do we have all the stuff here in thousand needles we also have the shimmering flats most of which looks like it can be done prior to Stranglethorn questing, so... We will want to do that as well. But we're gonna do all the stuff out in the main part first. How may I aid you? Goodbye. Greetings, traveler.
May the eternal sun shine upon you. What brings you here? Walk with the Earth Mother. Greetings, traveler. Go. Greetings. Baladash Malanore. Stay the course. Alright, so let's keep taking things in level order here. So we're going to go pacify the centaur first. If we're lucky, we might find the scout while we're doing that. We also have to fight our way back to the sacred flame. We need the cloven hoof. And then maybe we'll go after the alien egg and grab the samples. We'll try to save this stuff. I think we get more quests that send us out to the west. So we'll try to hold off on going that way until we have everything we can get to take us out that way. But yeah, let, let's come over into this area over here. Because we are going to want to work our way to the north. So I'm going to come down the road a ways before we head into the centaur area. Well, they are doing a good job of rooting us and uh, giving us a little bit of trouble here getting them positioned. Let's try to do this. Luckily, we have enough health that low-level enemies, even if we're running around like an idiot, they have a hard time getting us low on health. Let's 
going to be hard to make the scouts move. Just because if we get out of their like five yard range, they're going to start shooting at us. How are we getting back there exactly? Having never done this before, I, I really have no idea how we're getting back there. Unless there's a cave somewhere. Oh, all they're all going to shoot at us. Yeah, they all have have bows. So it's just a matter of getting them positioned properly in melee. Okay, so there is a cave over here. I I'm thinking that we have to go back into this cave. I've never done this quest before, and I've never been in this cave before, and if I connect those two things together, it tells me that the quest is back in the cave. This is one of the things I love so much about WoW Classic, is that, you know, even after playing the game for 18 years, I'm still finding quests that I've never done before, in places that I've never seen before, so... Name me some other games that are like that. That you could play them for 18 years. Leveling characters the whole time, and... Still come across plenty of quests that you've never seen. I hope it's in here. Yeah, it looks like it has to be, and I've, I've certainly never seen the inside of this cave before. This is going to be pretty interesting. Luckily, these guys are all a little bit under level for us, so even if we have runners or people healing, it's not going to be the end of the world. Uh, we have a level 80 here who I'm just like... I'm just kind of hoping he doesn't kill everything in here. He seems like he's going in here for a purpose that is taking him in a different direction than we're going. This guy ran really quick. That heal is not going anywhere. Alright. I think I see the flame up here. Yep, Ancient Brazier. Ooh, 
We're gonna save our interrupt for any potential heals that happen here. Let's go ahead and get our mana back here. Just in case anything happens where we have to do any quick healing or shifting. Healing and shifting, I guess it would be. Gonna want a full mana pool. I see one Flame Guardian, but I have a feeling that something may happen when we click on this. Let's go find out. I guess that's all we needed to do was click on the thing. For some reason, the way it, it read, I thought there was going to be one more step to it. But I guess not. Okay, let's, uh, let's get out of here. Maybe before everything respawns behind us here. How cool is that when we can clear through a cave and actually get out before the respawns happen? That's when the respawn rate is properly tuned in my opinion. Alright, so that's done, but it didn't do anything for the for the kill quest. I have to remember that if I get rooted, I can shapeshift and I can get us out of it. One of those amazing things about being a druid. Oh, we missed! We missed with the bash, or it didn't go off? It didn't go off. Maybe I didn't have rage. It's brutal. Thought we were gonna get that one. Okay, uh, let's go... Let's grab you. It's interesting how these guys just try to reposition, even when they don't root us, they try to get a 
range on us that will allow them to shoot. It's ultimately kind of pointless for them. But it does cause us to get hit in the back if we have two enemies on us. We need two scouts and we need two wranglers. Oh, we need four scouts. Four scouts. Okay. Uh, let's search over this way. There is a quest in a cave over here to the east we could check out. I'm pretty sure I remember what it was about. Are we going to find some more scouts out here, though? Here we go. Let's see if we can find one more scout before we go over here and check out the Test of Faith. Well, that's not what I wanted, there we go. I will eventually put buffs up today, yep. There we go. Unsurprisingly, there's no scouts. <laughs> okay, well. Well, well, well. Yeah, that's actually kind of crazy. There's not... Doesn't seem to be a single scout alive right now, uh, anywhere in their entire camp. Which is really something. Um, yeah, perfect. Okay. We are still sitting on this talent point.
We could go into thick hide. Let's go into thick hide. So you have sought me out, and perhaps destiny brings you to me, no matter. You are here now, and so your journey will begin anew. Many facets make up a being, the spirit, the body, the mind. Some of these can be measured by a culture's traditions. Others, we can only hope, exist within ourselves. If you agree, I shall test some of the facets within you. If you pass, you shall become stronger. If you fail, then you will realize the vastness of the nether. <laughs> the first is a test of faith. Ancestors, watch over Until we meet again, brave one. I'm pretty sure we just jump off, right? What brings you here? It is not until faced with unforeseen adversity that we begin to see how strong our spirits are. You took the leap of faith even though you had no guarantees that you would survive. Your mind is open and your spirit is prepared for what is to come. If you are willing, then the next of your test is ready. I'm pleased to see your courage remains steadfast in light of what you've already done. Since your faith is intact, the time has come to test your body. The first is a test of endurance. Go to the Rogue Feather Den west of Freewind Post. Make your way to the depths of their lair and destroy their foodstuffs. By then you should have provoked their fury, and if you are able to survive long enough, Grenka Bloodscreech herself will come for you. Kill her and bring me her claw to complete your test. We shall meet. I think she used to be an elite, but we'll, we'll probably be able to do that one. Uh, without a problem. It's over this way. Okay, now let's head back through the centaur camp and see if perhaps any scouts have respawned, shall we? Alright, let's go out and we'll get the elemental bits that we need and we'll try to find an alien egg before we go back to town. And if we do all this stuff out here, we could probably just hearth back for now.
So supposedly there are supposed to be elementals here. Okay, here's one. Granted, we only need two, but I doubt we're going to get two drops off of one enemy. There's probably a place somewhere where there's like lots of these guys. That place is just not right here. Seems like an okay drop rate though. Uh, okay, so where else can we find these guys? Down here to the south. Okay. Let's swing out here a little bit and head south and see if we can find a couple more. Here we go. He's immune to fairy fire, which is interesting. So he's immune to nature damage, I guess. I wonder if wrath would even hurt him if we tried to wrath him. There we go, that was a 100% drop. Unrefined ore sample, we need off of kobolds. And we, we haven't seen too many kobolds. Although it says there could have been some to the north that maybe we passed up. How hard is it going to be to hunt down one of these kobolds? This quest for the ore, I think, turns in back in the barrens somewhere. This was something we picked up a while ago. Yeah, no kobolds here. I feel like Questy is not accurately marking all the spots that they can be. I feel like I found kobolds out to the west before. And it's not marking any of them out there. Unless they're just like the wrong type of kobold. Pretty weird. Pretty weird that we're just not finding any. Okay, well, we'll put that on hold for now, I guess. And since we're so close, there's really no reason to hearth back. Let's just run back to the lift. So you've served us well in the past, and now I entrust you with an important mission. The Grim Totem Clan is up to something secretive. Three agents of unknown origin were seen visiting the Grim Totem over the recent weeks. We discovered that separate chest and Dark Cloud Pinnacle hold these guarded messages. Okay, get the messages. Be careful. The winds guide you. I sense a strange energy emanating from the hoof. I have no doubt that we will discover surprising new information about the centaur from its study. My thanks, now I must begin to decipher the mysteries you have brought to me. Aw oh man, he doesn't uh, have a follow-up for that. I was hoping that we would discover some centaur lore. 
uh, which would be interesting to me because we're going to get a lot of like different centaur lore in Dragonflight about the centaur that have lived on the Dragon Isles. So hearing some centaur lore here in uh, Classic would be intriguing to me. What brings you here? here is your alien egg, sir. Uh, the alien comes out of the egg. Blurk, Young Aquica. If I did not see it with my own eyes, I would never have believed it to be true. Vengeance has come to Thousand Needles. You must act quickly. Go now and seek out Motega Firemane. He is located at White Reach Post, just northwest of Freewind Post along the road. He'll know what to do. Will he know what to do? I've been expecting. Alright, and then we have one more to turn in, I thought. Oh, we must have already... Must have already done that one. Okay, let's head back out. I, I think we're going to go do the Grim Totem stuff. Yeah, let's go do the Grim Totem stuff. We'll be able to do the Wanted poster. There's an escort quest up there, and then finding the three secret uh, messages. This has always been one of my favorite areas to work through. I love that we get to go up on these plateaus and fight an enemy. Anything that feels like kind of like a solo instance almost, I'm always up for. Obviously, it's not instance, but you know what I mean, like an area that's almost like a dungeon that you can work through on your own. I really need to use Nature's Grasp when I think we're going to have runners. Could stop them for long enough.
Leather with three strength, six agility. I wonder if this is better to get some strength and we lose three agility, we gain three strength. It's probably not much better. All right, we're going to focus obviously on getting all of the chests first before we before we do any of the escort quest or other stuff here. I'll pull her back a little bit. Still in combat here. Is it just the totem? Okay, it is just the totem. Uh, level 32, which is great. Take a look at her talents here in a second. Alright, so we are not down into the next tier yet. We could grab Survival Instincts. Increased chance to dodge while in Cat and Bear could be nice. Hmm. I love when they try to disarm us. It's my favorite thing on the bear. So they go for that disarm and I just kind of chuckle inside. 
Thinking of all the times when it would have really inconvenienced us to be disarmed. Okay, I think she reset, which is really weird. We weren't that far from her spawn point, and we put in, we put quite a bit of damage into her. But yeah, she uh, reset there. Interesting. Let's pull this one down the bridge a little bit so we don't have to deal with everybody on this platform. And we're going to have to deal with this guy. Level 80 Blood Elf Paladin. Is he going to go... Okay, good. I was going to say, is he going to go kill everything we need? Apparently not. Apparently this guy might be resetting. Really short leashes here. Surprisingly, we got this one by themselves. Let's go ahead and get all of our mana back here before we take on Arnak. I don't know if he summons adds or if we'll just have to deal with the Geomancer. Either way, we're probably going to want all of our mana back for it. Uh, we'll go in with a couple of heals rolling. And we're going to escort her out of here. Goodbye.
Is this right here a backdoor entrance into Razorfen Downs? Because that's really what it seems like. Hmm. Interesting. I've never been that way. But we could be doing Razorfen Downs pretty soon. I think maybe next time I'll try to do an RFD run. Hopefully get a little bit more lucky than we did with RFK. We didn't see any gear drop in there that we could even use. I have a feeling that the path she's going to take is going to end up pulling most of the platforms, so dealing with this one first will probably help. Yes, yeah, she's going to walk right out here and... We need to, like, start hitting them? I'm not sure what's happening here exactly. I'm glad this guy over here is content just to watch us kill all of his fellows. Will she aggro him too? That's the question. No, apparently not. At some point though, she spawns guys. The event will spawn some guys. At least I thought that it did. Here we go. Pull the guy over to the left. I'm gonna try to deal with these two first.
I don't think we have too much more to go. I think we go down the final ramp, and after that, she kind of takes off on her own. I don't think we get attacked again either. Except for the ones that are already patrolling. Finally free at last. I must be going now. Thanks for helping me escape. I can get back on my own. We can get back on our own too and we are going to go ahead and hearth back here. You wish to speak? Uh, we don't really need either of these. May the eternal sun shine upon Well met. My brother Nataka is stationed at Ghost Walker Post over in Desolus. I'd like to ask you, could you give this report to him for me? A year has passed since the last time I wrote. There has been... Unusual centaur activity since then, and he should be informed. Journey to Stone Tail Mountain, north of Crossroads, and then head west into the Charred Vale. From there, head south into Desolus. Uh, we are going to do Desolus a little bit, at least, on this character. We haven't been in Desolus for a while. And, yeah, I think we will be doing that, so we're going to hold on to that one. That being said, guys, we're going to take a break here for today. Thank you all so much for being here with me and for spending your time with me here in Azeroth. It does mean the world to me. So take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back here again sometime very soon. Bye for now.